A security company in western Washington is trying out a new form of security. Not a human standing guard, but a robot. King 5's Drew Andre went to Squim to check it out. It's not quite R2-D2, but maybe calling it a RoboCop isn't far off. Five feet tall, 400 pounds. Um, it's really shocking um, to see it at first. Rudy, the autonomous robot, roams around the business block of Center Park Way in Squim. I wanted to find out exactly where, where the strong points were and where its weaknesses were. Security Services Northwest is testing out the robot on their block and named it after one of their service dogs. In case you're wondering, I'm a security robot. Rudy scans license plates, has 360 degree cameras, and picks up any Wi-Fi signal in the area. Its goal, to detect possible intruders and alert security dispatch. This is Security Services Northwest Dispatch. We don't think it's a replacement for security officers, but we think in its enhancement. But Security Services President Joe D'Amico says it can cut down on security officers. This call may be recorded for your safety. It's about 20000 a month to operate 24-7, but D'Amico says that's about half the cost of officers. It doesn't get sick. It doesn't fall asleep and it doesn't ask for PTO. In the future, security services clients could request a robot for their private property. I envision it roving city blocks, like in downtown Seattle. So these things could rove around, check all the local businesses. It's possible privacy concerns could limit the autonomous robot's use in more public spaces. Hey, how are you? But the last few weeks, Rudy's been a welcome sight to the other businesses on Center Park Way. It makes our girls feel safe in the morning, that's for sure, when they're opening up early and it's dark out. And when its nightly guard is over, Rudy heads back home to recharge. Reporting in Squim, Drew on Breaking 5 News.